Hi, I'm Matthew Burchette, and this is a special Da Vinci episode of Behind the Wings. I'm just gonna take this thing right here. Nobody will miss it. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Behind the Wings. This month we're actually looking at something a little bit different. We're looking at a traveling exhibit we have here at Wings Over the Rockies, and it's called Da Vinci Machines. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, what the heck does Da Vinci have to do with aviation? Well, duh, everything. And we're gonna talk to Mark Rogers. He's actually the curator of this exhibit, and he's gonna walk us through some of the things that Da Vinci designed that we're still using today. It's really gonna be cool. Let's go find Mark right now. Okay, I'm standing beneath a B-61 nuclear weapon. Now what does that have to do with Da Vinci? Nothing, absolutely nothing. But the parachute that it's hanging from has everything to do with Da Vinci. Why? Because Da Vinci invented the parachute. I'm not Da Vinci smart, I'm plain smart. So I've got Mark Rogers over here, who is Da Vinci smart, like screaming Da Vinci smart. Bonjour! Bonjour! Good to see so, you. So let's go see this thing that we've got back here, and we're going to learn a lot about Da Vinci. Let's go. So here we are actually in the Da Vinci exhibit. It's called Da Vinci Machines. Let's kind of take a walk around and, and give me an overview of what this actually is. Most people know Da Vinci right. by the Mona Lisa and, and of course the Last Supper. Oh, but absolutely. But few people know that he was one of the most prolific inventors of all time. He had over 44, think about this a minute, 44,000 drawings of which only 14,000 survived. Wow. They guesstimate and this is a small guesstimate, that there are over 2,500 of his designs, inventions, and theories that we use every day in our modern day life. That's nuts. You know what, let's take a look at some of these things that I I'm sure most people don't even know were invented by Da Vinci. Absolutely, let's take a look. Okay. I feel like I'm under a long umbrella. <laughs> what is this thing? Well, this is Da Vinci's probably his most famous aerodynamic design. He, he called it his air screw. How he envisioned this operating is the men would literally stand on this platform, hold on to these bars, now watch out a second, and literally run around in a circle oh in an gosh. attempt to air screw up into the air like our president helicopter. But when this got up in the air, Da Vinci also figured out that he may not go smoothly every time <laughs> and he may need a plan B. And you know what? He came up with a plan B. I think I know what a plan B is. Let's go see. Absolutely. All right, so uh -huh. I'm pretty sure this is plan B. Yeah. This is it, this is it. <laughs> this was his plan B, that when you got up into the air, things may not go as well as we, as we figured, and that we, we may have to return <laughs> somebody <laughs> safely to Earth. All right, so now here's something wild. I've heard rumors that in 2008, a Swedish guy actually built this parachute. Absolutely, he did. And utilized it. He was a vendor. He, he jumped off. Can you imagine? He wow. jumped off a 2,000 foot platform using this exact design of Leonardo da Vinci and he returned oh. safely oh. to Earth. That is some guts right there. That's a lot of faith in Leonardo da Vinci. No kidding. <laughs> I really have no idea how he came up with this idea. What do you think? This here he designed, we call the present day inclimeter. He designed this to be in a glass bell for two reasons. First of all, it wouldn't be affected by wind currents and right. the glider pilot could see it in flight. He designed this to be on the glider in flight with the pilot. So at any time the glider pilot could look over, determine if his wings were or were not parallel and know to bring his wings back parallel to the horizon, just like our airplanes today. Man. Thank you so much for coming in here and bringing this amazing exhibit. Well, it's so incredible. We are so honored to be here, but I want to invite everyone to come by this interactive exhibit. Come by and interact with the exhibition and, uh, and the models and, 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 and to see these incredible planes that all uh, happened because of the architect of flight, Leonardo da Vinci. Nice. 
Well, thank you, Mark, so much. Um, you know what? Let's go discover the Da Vinci in us out in the museum because I know we're going to find his hand on a lot of stuff that we have here. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Oh, you bet. Okay, so we started this episode underneath the B61, and here we are again. Now, why are we back under here? Well, because we were talking about parachutes and how da Vinci actually designed the first parachute. But this thing is riddled with holes, but they're supposed to be there, which is kind of counterintuitive when you think about it. You don't really want your parachute to have holes in it. Well, in this case, you do. The high speed of the drop would literally rip the parachute apart. But in this case, this guy is made of some really thick nylon material and it's got little tiny holes all the way around it that lets just a little bit of air through there and enough to keep it from just ripping itself apart. Now, we've got some really cool things we need to look at, so let's stop yakking about this and go check them out. Oh, sorry. Oh, come on. You know you'd be doing it too. So here we are in the EB-57 cockpit. This is a 1950s era aircraft, but it's got two instruments in it that harken back to da Vinci 500 years ago. The first one is a turn and bank indicator, and it's nothing more than a little black plastic ball that floats around in a curved tube filled with water. As long as you keep that little ball between these two lines, your wings are level. Now, let's fast forward a bit. We've got an attitude indicator, which is really nothing more than a turn and bank indicator, except it also tells you if your nose is going up and down. This is one of the main flight instruments that the guys would use when they were flying this aircraft to make sure they were flying straight and level. And guess what? It's really the same thing that the Da Vinci invented 500 years ago. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. I'm out. <laughs> All right, so now we're talking about helicopters. Now, if you remember, da Vinci actually invented the first helicopter, but it looked kind of like a giant corkscrew that guys would run around in the bottom and it would supposedly go up in the air. Well, obviously that never took off, no pun intended, but this one did. This was built by a guy here in Colorado by the name of Murray, and he just cobbled together his own little helicopter using all sorts of pieces and parts that he found at junkyards. Now, there's one part in here that I really, really like, and we always kind of give you a behind the scenes tour of these things. So let's check this out because this is the coolest thing ever. Now, here we go. Bam! What is that? That's an instrument bezel made of a Budweiser beer can. I love that. Talk about innovation and probably being a little bit uh, cheap, but either way, how cool is that? That's exactly what Wings Over the Rockies is about, innovation. You know who'd be proud? Da Vinci would be proud. So there you go, the Italian Renaissance in like less than 10 minutes through the eyes of Da Vinci. That was an amazing episode. It was really cool to see the stuff that Da Vinci has invented back then and we're still using today. And a huge shout out to Mark Rogers, who is a Da Vinci expert, and you can tell I am not. So thank you, Mark. But a huge shout out to you guys and gals out there who are watching this series. You guys have made it so much fun with your comments and just the fact that you're watching an idiot like me in such great numbers just makes it fun for us to know that what we're doing is appreciated. So thank you guys and gals so much for watching us. Now, next month, don't miss it. We are gonna be getting into our F4 Phantom and we're gonna be listening to some stories and hearing the real scoop behind the Phantom, the double ugly, from our very own CEO, John Barry, who just happens to be an F4 pilot and a two-star general. How cool is that? Yeah. So. Don't miss it. Tune in. It's going to be awesome. 